1051. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. Yes. We got a special guest in here with us today, Mr. Rob Stapleton. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank y'all for having me, man. Yeah, he walked in in the middle of a crazy conversation. Yeah, powder on butts. And- yeah, have you ever heard about that? A grown man putting powder on his butt? I probably no one that admitted it. Yeah, I know infants do that. They do that yeah, to infants. Yeah, I have a, I have a baby girl right now. She's four months old. What does that and have to I do with you? Up, so, oh, so you going to throw this on the baby? No, no, she smells good. Baby can't even defend herself. I smell good too. So I smell good. Make sure everything is smelling. Well, who is smelling your butt? This guy's ridiculous. I can't just smell good? He's light skin, Rob. Yeah, yeah, he got so, confidence in I put powder under my arms, too. You don't want to smell that, too? Why no, not I'm deodorant just, like a dog? I put adults. deodorant, too. I want to make something extra fresh. <laughs> no, I'm just asking a question because I don't know if guys powder their butt, and I don't know if that's a normal thing. I've never seen I, no boy get their butt powdered except for little infants. Yeah. Okay. I'm go, we going to be out all day at 8 o'clock tonight. We've been up since 4. I want to make sure I'm smelling good the whole day. See, dog skin dudes, we stay away from powder because it makes us look ashy. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. So we, that's, it's a, that's a whole other world. Right but stop there. talking about my butt, man. Rob Stapleton's here, yeah, Hell of a way to open the show up, huh? Stop talking about my butt. Rob, <laughs> now Rob, you used to be one of the uh, kings of comedy with Capone. You used to, you're not part of it no more? Nah, nah. Hey, I love talent. You, man. you know, last time when the guys came up, it was just time for me to do my own thing. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I felt, you know, I ain't got no bad words in part, you know, to do everybody funny. You know what I mean? It's just time for me to build my own lane and do what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. You know, it's hard, dog, being in, in part of a group because, mm-hmm. especially in this comedy, there ain't no license in this. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like, Everyone wants to do what they want to do, so you decide to just lead a group and just do what you want to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it could have got nasty, but it, we, we avoided that. You okay. know what I'm saying? That's good. Everybody's mature. Adults yeah, and yeah, so yeah, when you did know, you leave? Recently? The last show. Last time. Did you do the last came, show? Or you didn't even miss me when they came up here. The, <laughs> the last no, because I thought no, I did. He was I on the fire. That's why they had Kenny Williams here. You know what I mean? They had they brought the the other guy in. You know what I mean? I let them know I'm gonna ride this one out and do this. You know, I'm working on my show. You know, the Rob Stapleton show which is, you know, I got some really good stuff happening on. It's like in that Chappelle type of genre. Mm-hmm. And uh, I've been, like, working with hard on that. This mm-hmm. is like get rich or die trying on this one right here. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I worked my whole career to get to this point, and I got a lot of heat on it. And, um, you know, I just decided just to let that go, man. Y'all yeah. had whole routines and everything, though. Y'all were like a dance group. Oh, y'all. the show was fire. <laughs> from beginning to end, I mean, from beginning to end, from the time talent gets on and, and, and jumps on that stage, the worst part about it is when I get on, I only get to do like 15 to 20 minutes apiece. Right. You know, when people come to see me at Caroline's now, I really get to work out because I'm working on the hour special. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I people really get to see what Rob do, from $8 to the midget stripper mm-hmm. to, to my, I, you know, I'm talking about everything I grew up with, Dauphine's on 165th Walton Avenue. Uh, I'm talking about my family a little bit bit more mm-hmm. i never really did that but you know in the comedy world in order to get this sitcom you know you got to really talk about you know some stuff close personal to experiences family. right so like like what kind of family stuff well you, you see how kevin hart talks about his kids mm-hmm. and he talks about his wife and if it happens like you know he when he went through his divorce he was smart he threw that out there yeah. you know what i mean he didn't hide it it was all in the press anyway you yeah, gotta, yeah 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 you see the pictures it. with him with the next chick but you know what <laughs> i mean yeah. Yeah, that's the smart thing to do you know but yeah, it's funny because uh, I don't want to say white comics, but mainstream comics do it all the time. Mm-hmm. They talk. And it's not about the funniest comic no more. It's about how the station, the network, can build, get four or five writers for you and get five <clears> seasons <throat> out of you to go to syndication. That's where the mm-hmm. money is. You know what I mean? So Kev, you know, did that and talked about everything and very relatable. And well, you what's, you, what's your nigga? So what about your family is it that you're discussing? What's well, black kid? fact families don't really like you talking about them. Right. You know what I mean? Right. They, they well, white families offended. think it's cute. They're like, oh, hell, that's, oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, my God, we're all set. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you start talking about your, you know, your Dauphine uncle and they start act like they're not Dauphine. Why did you bring that up? And you're like, because you're a Dauphine. You know what I mean? <laughs> the crackhead and, the, you know what I mean? And the, and mm-hmm. uh, the wives and the black women don't like you talking about things from the past, mm-hmm. especially when it doesn't make them look good. Right. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? So in order to be real with yourself, you got to do that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Does it destroy like well, or hurt relationships when they get offended? You have to take that into consideration and then they come and see it. And, yeah, then-, and then you get served with papers. <laughs> then paperwork gets involved. <laughs> you know what I mean? They, what you call it? Uh, slander and character and all that type of stuff. But anyway, long story short, I'm working at more into my act because people that know Rob Stapleton, a comedian, know that I'm very physical dude. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I talk about observations, stuff that's going on around mm-hmm. me and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Uh, like my, Who can think of a midget at a strip club coming down the pole that's me. Right. You know what I mean? I, I, I talk, I'm from New York. Mm-hmm. A lot of comics from New York have, you know, if you work in New York, you can work anywhere. Mm-hmm. 
But I talk about being on the subway, even if I'm in St. Louis, because everybody could identify to that. I talk about being on the bus in New York <clears> and <throat> a wheelchair dude getting on the bus, and you mad because mm -hmm. we it's always take see the rush. 20 you ain't minutes, got right. no time for this. It takes so long for it to be getting elevated. <laughs> you know, I'm, yeah. you got to talk about that type of stuff. You mm -hmm. know, it's connecting with the crowd and keeping it real. And if you look at the best mainstream comics out there, Bill Burr, Louis C.K., mm -hmm. they don't change nothing. They they talk about what's really on their mind, mm -hmm. and you either gonna roll with them or you just don't f with them. Right. You Absolutely. Know what I mean? no. Why on Twitter did you say Miley Cyrus said white people are back forty years? Oh, she. She is. She definitely did, man. Cause did you see uh, my man? Uh, hey, 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 Robert, Robert Thick. Robert Thick. He, he, he. It looked like they didn't even practice that in rehearsal. It looked like, <laughs> like she did that, and he was like, man, "If you don't get that, he looked like he just wanted to kick her off the stage." <laughs> and you know, lots of times, black people we embarrass ourselves, but it looked like even white people were cringing. Like they were like, "Oh my god." What is she doing? Like everybody, everybody, all white people's credit scores went down. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. That's a hard thing to do. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, um, we've been talking about Lamar Odom a whole lot up here. And I know that's something that you address as well. Yeah, but yeah. you said you have a crackhead uncle. Yeah, I mean, everybody has that. So yeah. Okay, so people do still use crack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but you know, it, I, it, them Kardashian girls is something else, dog. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just, I don't know. Like, you know, you always talk about the thing with Kanye. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, Kanye, how are you going to get involved with the biggest uh, attention Media whore? whore. Yeah out there and then get mad when the camera's on your face. You know what I mean? Lamar, you know, he was in the last of his days in the NBA and then you hook up with, with that. It's to, get, like, to get more press and attention. Exactly. And when it comes, that light shines bright, man. It, it make you do things <clears throat> behind closed doors. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I To me, that's too easy talking about Lamar. You know what I mean? Because I'm teasing crackheads for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, 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 we it, that's the easy way out. That's like when stand ups first start. They do doo doo jokes. Mm -hmm. or, <laughs> you know, you ever take a doo doo and you see peanuts in it and you be like, I ain't had corn. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> you know, that's it's cool for your first five minutes. You know what I'm saying? We don't necessarily ever think of NBA players as, as using crack though. I mean, that's a, a yeah, you know a lot. Um, uh, well, let me uh -oh. let me backtrack that. More well, weed is probably a higher thing that that they do. Right. But when you you get one to do crack it's probably he probably just made the team right because you think a crack is something that's like <laughs> <laughs> he's know, a game a week away from the rucker league something that's cheap to buy and people that don't have money like that it's buy crack, crack. Cheap. how much is crack how much is I, crack? 20 dollars a rock how big is a rock how long does a rock last like i look at cocaine o cocaine is very grams. expensive Co and, and crack is like a cheap you know but the thing is the people around lamar you know what i mean because it's kind of cool you be in a club downtown people smoking weed and everybody you know blazing you got bottles popping the sparkler coming out but you know you pull out crack and just you know, <laughs> yeah that ain't sexy that's, that's, that's not a cool thing nah. that's when the bill come like y'all gonna have to leave yeah, Listen, yeah, yeah, exactly. and crack smells awful there was a period of time how do you know in, how crack smells no, i'm gonna tell you why because there was a period of time in miami when people used to smoke weed and lace it with crack. No, it wasn't crack. That was cocaine, Julie. No, 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 it was crack. No, it was so cocaine. Cool. No, I'm telling you how I know because I was in the club one time and it smelled awful. Well, if it had the powder, ask Envy because he knows about powder. He puts it on his ass. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Envy had some nice looking lines off his back. But, um, <laughs> thanks, thanks, Rob. But no, actually, they, they told me that, that people, in the, when I was in the club, they said a lot of people smoke, um, lace their weed with crack. That was a thing they were doing. And I got nauseous. I didn't know why I was so nauseous. It smelled bad. And I threw up in the club. And I didn't really drink anything. And I felt dizzy and sick. And it's because they said they'd smoke a lot of weed. So you had secondhand crack. crack smoke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely had secondhand crack. You were secondhand crack. Yeah, you were secondhand crack. That yeah. one time. I was so sick. You secondhand crack. It didn't really agree with my system. So you like recovering every day now? <laughs> That's yeah. a good question. If you smoke, if you smoke crack once, are you a crackhead? Yes. Yeah, it's the same thing. Like if just you gave, once, if you do it if, once. If you a dude and you gave a dude <laughs> head once, are hey, you gay? That doesn't just make you left handed. It makes you something else. <laughs> well, no, I think it depends. But if you were forced to do it. <laughs> if you were forced to do it. <laughs> if, 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 oh, man. That's like, that's like another dudes got to go though. through things like that. Like if a dude got raped by another dude, would you press charges? That means you have to go and see him again and pick you, him up out of the line. That's a good question. Like, which one? You, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> that's a good question. Are though. you gay if you get raped? No, no. no if you get raped, of course not. you press charges. If you fought a lot, <laughs> you're not gay. But if you just kind of let it happen... You was on that oh list for a while. <laughs> That's not true. You, you got a brochure coming. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't think So you in Caroline's all weekend? Caroline's all weekend, man. You know, it's always a pleasure. Tell us the times, man. We didn't uh, got it. We're here. I'm there Thursday uh, the 26th through the 29th, Thursday through Sunday, mm -hmm. uh, knocking it out. And uh, I was talking about the Rob Stapleton show, man. You know, a lot of people are going to be proud of me, man. You get 
you know, people talking about all of this stuff, dog. This is the joint, like I was talking about before. Remember when you was little and you buy some new clothes and Absolutely. you had the new sneakers, you couldn't wait to put them on? Wear them at the store. Like, yo, I'm going to kill them with this. Mm -hmm. The first day of school, you kind of <laughs> excited. You got your stuff ironed out. That's how I feel with the show. We just got entered on the um, New York Comedy Festival, oh, which is congrats, crazy. Man. You know what I mean? So that's the big release of the show. So the pilot is done? Oh, yeah, 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 it's done. It's okay. done. So we released that to, to network. And, you know, it's so crazy because if it, you know, if it doesn't get picked up by the network I'm mm -hmm. on, I got all these other deals in place, which mm -hmm. is cool, mm -hmm. you know. And you know about that, Mr. MTV. Absolutely. You know what I mean? I thought you was going to bring up the time I got pushed in Atlanta. You, you kind of let that go, huh? Oh, when you was humping the guy in the crowd? Yeah, yeah. I that thought guy, that happened like, in New pushed. York. Wait, no, you humped a guy? Like, oh, wow, well, he didn't have to say it like that. But Wait, wait no, wait, it's, a, it's a routine. Wait, so down, so down. I don't want to yeah. give too much away, but... No, it's a joke I do about being in New York. It's around the time I did Bad Boys of Comedy. I do a joke about dudes that give you love and disrespect you at the same time. Mm -hmm. You know, he'd be like, yo, you walking with your girl. They'd be like, yo, what up, Evie? You good? You good? About why they hugging on your girl. So I did this to this dude in the front row. We in Atlanta. And I was, uh, you know, I sat on the chick's lap. And I was like, yo, this you, son? This you? And it, everybody normally cracks, standing ovation, cracks up. This dude pushed me. <laughs> right, and I had like I wasn't expecting that, so I literally rolled <laughs> to the door where I first came out when they intro me, and it <laughs> took me like three minutes to realize this pushed me. Mm -hmm. So I did like ten minutes just talking about that, mm -hmm. uh, you know how he should get a job on the highway with cars break down. He just pushed cars back <laughs> to the exit. And, and, you know, it's situations like that it could get real awkward. Right. So you got to keep it funny, you know, because people think oh they're gonna fight, they're gonna shoot each other mm -hmm. after the show. Mm -hmm. you know so I mean? if he sat on Gia's uh, on your wife's lap and did all that, would you push him? Absolutely. <laughs> but what, wasn't it another time Absolutely. where you had the routine where you would act like you was humping the guy and he? Yeah. Pushed what you? is this? Yeah, that just that everybody's pushing you. That was that was no, no, that, was, that, was, that was the one. Oh, okay, that was okay, the one. okay, yeah, okay. that was the one. Yeah, that you would was, think I that would work in Atlanta. I actually though. wish that was. A, <laughs> <laughs> I actually wish that was on tape. I wish we had video of that. That would have been classic. Does. That would have went platinum. You know what I <laughs> mean? Dang. All right. Well, Rob's table. We look forward to seeing you at Caroline's this yes, weekend. Sir. You gonna hump some guy in the audience? Oh, uh, I think I might pass on okay. that. Ash. I'm gonna come through Saturday. I'm gonna come through Saturday now. I'm come check Yeah, yeah. You say that now. You ain't gonna be there. I come to Caroline's all the time. Oh no, he'll be there. He um. He I'll, got, I'll check the seats for powder. Go, 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 go. He got into a little situation earlier this year, so him and his <laughs> wife were like like back together, like brand new. So they dating yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Oh, so he got to like, They're in their honeymoon. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't. We can't so just enjoy you do all of those things when you with your lady and the other chick with the big ass come. You go. I don't know why she would wear that. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do all that type of stuff. My goodness, it's Rob Staples. His wife is in the lobby right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, God bless her. <laughs> no, no. It's Rob Staples. It is the Breakfast Club. Good morning. It is the Breakfast Real people, real celebrities, real talk. Join the Breakfast Club. Weekday morning, six to ten.